Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and in today's video I'm going to be recapping the sorority retreat that I attended last weekend. So if that's something that you're interested in hearing about and seeing all of our pictures and all the things, stick around. All right y'all, so I am fresh off the sorority retreat and when I say fresh off, it's been a few days. Today is Saturday. I got back last Sunday. So the retreat went from Thursday, Thursday around noon, which was check-in time. And it was over Sunday around the same time. So about four days and three nights. I got home late Saturday late Sunday because I live in San Antonio. The retreat was north of Dallas in a city called Aubrey. And it's about a four-ish, probably about a four and a half hour drive. But y'all, I got back late Sunday. And when I tell you I was exhausted, like I was so tired. I'm so exhausted. It was, we did a lot of sewing, but it was a lot of late night sewing and hanging out. When I say we didn't go to bed till the next day, every day, we didn't. So I was very sleep deprived. Plus I had to work on Monday. So I had enough time to love on the babies, get ready for the next day and get me enough sleep so that I could go to work that Monday. However, I was off the rest of the week because my kids are also on spring break this week. So I had to carve out a little bit of time just to do this video so that I could recap the retreat because I had an amazing time. And I'm pretty sure I speak for everybody else when I say every single person had an amazing time. Most everyone who attended this year was already talking about coming back next year. There was only about four of us who attended last year's retreat at the retreat that I went to. There's also a retreat going on this weekend and there's a lot more returning sewists at that retreat just because that was the original date. However, I feel like it's one of those events where if you go once, you're gonna wanna go again. And then if you've never gone, you're gonna be anticipating it for the next year so that you can attend. All right, so let's jump into the recap. So as I already mentioned, I drove. I left my house crazy early on Thursday after stopping to charge, stopping for breakfast, and of course, stopping by Joanne to pick up a few last minute supplies. I arrived to the retreat location almost exactly at noon so when i arrived the doors had just barely opened the sorority house is officially open come on <laughs> i arrived to an extremely warm welcome so the hospitality was truly amazing and i didn't expect anything less because last year y'all our socks were blown away with all the just detail and small things that they had taken into consideration welcome to the sorority retreat hi shelly how are you so warm you are going to be in room 10. all of our rooms had really cute signs on them with all of the names of the guests in the rooms and y'all this year we had sponsors so that immediately took the retreat up a notch so in the sorority bag we had a t-shirt and a pair of socks and in the Joanne bag, I have my bag right here. We had this cute bundle of fat quarters. So it's one, two, three, four, five fat quarters. Just put the bag right here. There was also some thread and each person had different color threads in their bags. There was scissors. Y'all know we can never have too many scissors. So there was a pack of scissors and there are three pairs of scissors in here. And last we had this cute little pin cushion. So everybody had the same things in their bag minus the, the color of thread. And the venue itself is just really quaint and really cozy. It really makes it really makes a retreat like this very personable because we're all staying in the same facility. We all have dinner, lunch, 
and breakfast together at a shared dining space and then the sewing space is just this huge space where everybody can sit and sew so upon arrival the stage was already set and it just readied you for what the rest of the weekend had to offer so thursday night after everyone got settled we really just sewed most people came in you guys i think by two o'clock people were sewing like they had set their stations up and they were getting to it and I wasn't one of those people. It took me a little while to get settled. You know, I like to run my mouth. I like to walk around, get to know people and all the things before I just jump into sewing. So moving into Friday, we had a nine o'clock roll call because we went fabric shopping and then to lunch in Dallas, which is probably a reason why most of us went to bed decently early on Thursday night. I think most of us were in bed probably about midnight. Hey y'all! So the ladies had chartered a bus to take us to Fabric Row in Dallas where there was at least about five, five to seven fabric stores back to back. Like they were in walking distance. The bus dropped us off and we were able to walk to each of the fabric stores. Yo, I said I wasn't gonna buy any fabric unless something caught my eye and something caught my eye. Actually, a few somethings caught my eye. I had every intention on showing the fabrics that I picked up during this trip, but I don't wanna make this video too long and I also don't wanna take away from the retreat itself. So I plan on doing a separate fabric haul videos to show all the fabrics that I picked up on this trip because it's actually a few. Plus there's a few fabrics that I bought in Paris last year that I did not get around to showing here on my channel. And so look forward to a separate fabric haul video coming soon. However, this fabric here is one that I did catch on video. So just consider it a sneak peek. And what trip will be complete without a random video slash picture moment. On to the second stop on our Dallas fabric tour. Y'all, it definitely felt like a fabric tour because there was so much fabric. And there was actually only four stores. Initially, I said five to seven, but I definitely misspoke. There was only four. It just felt like it was more than four because the stores were so huge and they had such a grand selection of fabric. Each store had different selections than the previous store. So it was just a great shopping experience. And mind you, this is my second time visiting these stores here in Dallas. And I was still in awe at some of the stuff that I saw this time that I don't remember from last year. And they definitely had a lot of different and new fabrics than they had a year ago. What you getting, Sharia? Trim, girl, you know me. Look at all that. Hey, what you gonna do with all this? Put it anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> I do what I like. <laughs> oh, well, I did each one of these pieces individually. Like, stitched, opened the hems up, and pressed each one of these. You see? Just look at the detail and craftsmanship on this jacket. I told y'all there was some crazy talented sewers at this retreat, and this is a perfect example. This is Real Souls on Instagram. Check her out. So after three plus hours of fabric shopping, y'all, we were hungry and now it was time for lunch, but not before <laughs> they rolled out the red carpet. Y'all, that was just a part of the service for the transportation company. It wasn't special for us. Not saying that we didn't deserve it because we are special. <laughs> but this is us making an interest as we head off to Miriam's Mexican restaurant, I believe, for lunch.
Yeah, we had an amazing time. The food at this restaurant was so delicious. 10 out of 10, highly recommend if you are in the Dallas area. We probably spent two and a half, maybe even three hours in this restaurant just having fun, talking, eating, and drinking margaritas. And now that we're done, it's time for another photo op. Even remember what they were talking about <laughs> just know they are a whole trip and long story short a time was had not just at lunch but during the whole weekend So it was a pretty quiet ride back to the retreat location. I know I certainly took a much needed nap on the one hour ride back. And once we returned, most people just jumped right back into sewing, whether they were working on their own personal projects that they brought with them, or they were working on some of the challenges that we had throughout the weekend. Everybody was sewing. Friday night was also when the first games started to be played. We played this game called Sokino, where I believe three or four prizes were given away. One being the bag that I showed you guys in my last vlog that I made that was given away as the grand prize. I was a little nervous because I hadn't won anything else, but I think this is like the best prize. <laughs> And I didn't say that, she said that <laughs> y'all heard it directly from the winner. And obviously this was before the big prizes were given away. So Saturday was dedicated mostly to sewing. The only other things on the agenda for that day were the pinning ceremony as well as the giveaways for the challenges that we were participating in over the weekend. So there were two challenges, they both were optional but highly encouraged. So there was a Joanne challenge using the items in the Joanne bag that we got upon arrival. And there was also a ditto challenge where before we even arrived, they told us to bring an additional two yards of fabric, either woven or knit to make a top. And here are a few pictures of the top here. So one of the things that we did Thursday night was we received a ditto demonstration from Monica, who's an avid ditto user. I think if it was up to her, all of us would have a ditto. So if you're not familiar with the ditto, it's a projector machine that projects your pattern image directly onto the fabric and you just cut from there. So there's no paper. You only use PDF patterns and it projects directly onto an image which I think is pretty cool and what's even more fascinating is that each of us got to put our measurements directly into the ditto and the ditto adjust the pattern each pattern to your specific measurements and each garment is supposed to come out perfect every single time do any of the um Oh, this yeah, is the only it does it only gives you this type of neckline though that's fine but so it's like that but if you want that neckline i can um and that's it. knit that's a knit oh yeah let's do that you just take your pattern you're gonna slide it over to the surface it's letting you know that you have to splice and then these red dots are where you're going to be putting your image to splice it and splicing looks like this it brings the rest of the image down for you now we're gonna send it to the projector. Okay. Yes. So the stickers there put them corresponding to your um, fabric. Okay. 
So as you see, it was pretty self-explanatory and dare I say easy cutting out this pattern on the ditto. I mean, we did have Monica there to walk us through any software issues that may have arised and cutting did take a little bit of getting used to because as you see, as your arm went across the fabric, the line could sometimes disappear, but it just took a little bit of getting used to and cutting was a breeze. And as you can see, 20 plus ladies were able to almost kind of or fully complete their projects using the ditto. And of course I had to be different and make a dress, but I really wanted to create something that I could see myself wearing in the future. So a dress it was. So y'all, there were two dittos given away. Excuse me? Not one, two dittos given away. Y'all, I, I wanted to win it. I really wanted to win it. I mean, y'all see the dress that I made? Like, I finished the dress because I was like, I'm gonna win this ditto. I'm gonna finish this dress. And so I was determined. I, all those projects that I planned on making, I was like, nope, I'm gonna work on this dress because I wanna win the thing I'm ditto. But how the prizes were end up given away, it didn't matter if you finished or not. So I didn't win, but I was happy. I mean, I was happy for the other people, especially my friend Shauna, as well as Shatoka. So congratulations to them, but y'all, I wanted that ditto. Not having to alter and make little small adjustments to your pattern, not having to have paper to be able to have all of your patterns digital. I mean, there's pros and cons to both, right? Y'all know, I'm gonna spare you the explanation. So there pro there's pros and cons to both, but it would be nice to It'd be nice to know the pros of the ditto. <laughs> and just to be clear, we didn't know what the prizes were. I mean, we had an idea, right? Because if we know that Ditto, Joanne, and Fuff are sponsoring the events, it's just kind of like, hmm, what could the prizes be? So although we didn't know exactly what the prizes were, we had some idea. But we really did not know that there were going to be two dittos given away. I think that was really amazing. So shout out to our sponsor, Ditto, Fox, and Green. And so in addition to the Ditto contest, there was also another contest using the fabric that I showed you guys earlier that was in our Joanne bag. We were supposed to get creative, use the fabric, and make something with it. So here's some footage from the completed projects. As you can see, our sewers got really creative. I would have never thought to make a skirt or an apron for that matter. I probably would have and honestly thought about making a bag. I was gonna quilt a bag, but y'all, I'm a slow sewist. And so once I realized that there was gonna be a competition around the Joanne fabric, it was too late. I was knee deep into trying to complete my dress. And so, I didn't even start. As you can see, my fabric is still in a bundle waiting for me to do something with it. And so the winner of that contest was Bird. On Instagram, I'm sure she goes by Yoga Bird Sews. And here on YouTube, she goes by her name, which is Bird Wadhams. I'll also have her information linked in the description box below because I know she's putting together a few videos to recap the retreat as well. And y'all, she won a Fof overlocker. Crazy. When the prize was announced, I was kicking myself in the foot like, ah, I should have made something. I should have made something with the Joanne fabric. So Saturday night was a ball. It was a whole party. I don't think we finished with all the competitions and prizes until close to two o'clock in the morning. And there were a lot of people with really early flights so note, if you ever go to a sorority retreat, if you can help it, 
don't leave crazy early in the morning on the last day of the retreat because you're going to miss a lot of stuff and you probably won't even end up getting any sleep that night because y'all it's it's really a party <laughs> it really is a party so note to self um but we did have a lot of people leaving really early and to be honest there was a few people who didn't even go to sleep because like i mentioned earlier the retreat location is a little ways from the airport it's probably about a good 45 to 50 minute drive so with the 6 a.m flight you're gonna have to leave you know a good two three hours early which has you departing crazy early in the morning and so many of us were bidding some of our sisters farewell before we even went to sleep that night y'all we stayed up so late we opted not to go to brunch on sunday morning which was initially in the plan but with us staying up so late and a lot of people leaving out crazy early in the morning, we were able to get a late checkout and we just kind of hung out. And as far as me, I really appreciated the late checkout because I don't think we left the property until 1.30. And most people slept in until 10, some even to 11. So a 12 o'clock checkout would have been tough. So one important detail I forgot to mention was food. You guys, food was catered. Every single meal was catered. We had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast most days was, not most days, every day, was a continental breakfast. So fruit, um, bagels, toast, cereal, oatmeal, tea, coffee, just an assortment was laid out for us every morning. And then lunch differed every single day and dinner, was different every day dinner was probably the best meal every day dinner was really delicious it was also tailored taste for people with specific dietary restrictions whether it be vegan vegetarian pescatarian there were options for everybody and of course we let those be known to the organizers before we got there so they could be prepared for us also, I forgot to mention there were shared bathrooms in the facility. I believe there were four or five bathrooms. And even with the amount of ladies we had there, there was no issues with bathroom usage because we were all on different schedules. And as far as I know, I mean, there may have been some extended wait times, especially in the morning, but for the most part, there were no issues. Y'all, so I hope I did my best. I hope I did my due diligence at recapping the sobriety retreat. If you attended, let me know how I did. Um, but to be honest with y'all, I was, I was, I was apprehensive. I didn't know if I wanted to tell y'all how awesome it was. I was unsure if I wanted to let you know how amazing the ladies are who attend. I mean, not just talented, but everybody was just so friendly, humble, kind, helpful, all the words, like the essence of sisterhood at these events is just, I don't have the words to express it. I just know I love going. I've been twice already and as many times as I can go in the future, I plan to go. Like y'all, I literally moved my training that I attended in Alabama earlier this year. I moved it up. I was supposed to be there right now. Like I was literally supposed to be in class right now. But I moved the training up, which isn't an easy feat. If you know anything about the military, changing training days is not easy. But I was able to move my dates to go there early so that i could be free to attend this event so it was amazing y'all if you ever have the opportunity and your schedule allows it go and if there's anything that i did not mention or if you have any other questions please leave them in the description box and of course i will answer them to the best of my ability all right, you guys, so that wraps up this recap. Thank you for being here. If you like this video, go ahead and like this video. And if you're still around, go ahead, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, happy sewing, y'all.